So spring is exactly one month away at the time of filming this video. So you know I got to bring you something colorful, makeup for mature skin. We haven't done it yet, but it was in inevitable honey if you have not been here before hello welcome what is up girl my name is kiki carr i am a licensed esthetician and a makeup artist and you are receiving professional advice so i want you to subscribe because we got some fun things coming up today you know we are playing with color it's spring i have been wanting to do this my soul my soul so that's what we're gonna go with this today we're gonna start off with skincare per usual okay my avo cosmetics clear skin kit you know i'm oily skin acne prone and i need to use all natural ingredients gentle ingredients for my skin i have been chemically burned traditional acne treatments can sometimes tend to make things worse i stay on top of my skin by caring for it every single day and using mild mild ingredients so we're going to start off with the avo cosmetics botanical toner which is made up of rose water it's so calming and so refreshing then i'm going to go in around my mouth with this plumping hyaluronic acid serum next we're going to moisturize with the avo cosmetics restorative face cream this is formulated with lavender and it helps the skin heal so quickly and last but not least we're going to use one drop of the avo cosmetics rapid dark spot corrector and we're going to just press that into the skin next step is to prime i'm going to use my milk hydro grip okay so now that that is all settled in we can go ahead and apply our base i'm going to use my old faithful chanel and this time i'm going to use it with the mac pro long wear concealer So next we're going to brighten with my favorite brightening concealer the neutrogena radiant cream concealer okay so because we are using fun vibrant colors we are going to prime the eye with the mac paint pot this is the part we've all been waiting for the eyeshadow so fun so i'm going to apply my primer and then i'm going to zoom you in so we can see what's up with these colors okay we're going to start off with the james charles palette we're going to go into shade no beans Now we're going to switch to the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and we're going to go in with shade Dance Party. And then we're going to take a little bit of this MAC Dazzle and we're going to concentrate that right on the lash line so freaking cute okay let's add a little tiny tiny bit of black while the eye is relaxed when you're doing tutorials with somebody definitely try to align yourself with people who has an eye shape like you so for me this is my ideal way to do my eyes because of my eye shape because i have this fold because i have a hooded eye i always need to do something to add some depth to lift up my face i really I, I can do bright and airy looks with no black, but I don't have that lifting like I like. So always kind of go with what you need, what works for you, what you like. Okay, so once we have on the lash and everything, it's really not gonna, you're really not gonna be able to see the black. I know you're probably like, Kiki, why did you change the all pink look and put black? But Black camouflages, black disguises, black mask, black hides, okay? So I definitely love to hide these little folds in my eye. When the lash is on and the face is finished, you can't really tell. It's just a very seamless look and the, the face just looks lifted and you definitely primarily still only see pink. So I'm going to zoom you out so you can finish up the face. And you can see for yourself. 
So this is the finished look. You already know what I'm going to say that I think it is simply adorable. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, connect with me, okay? I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, not right now at least. I'm going to ask you to join my VIP beauty community for free where you will receive exclusive beauty content just like this straight to your inbox. Very informative, educational, fun, like we connect. I'm in your DMs so you know that it's going to be going down. And comment below, let me know what you think about this pink and purple spring inspired makeup look. And for everybody that has been here and everybody that's coming back, I'll be sure to see you on the next one. I've been losing friends and finding peace.